Hey folks, Pete from 413 Air Guns. Today we're going to be taking a quick little video here of the new Scout Epic 357. We're down on the farm today. We're going to try to get some chronograph numbers right out of the box. However it was, whatever they set up, we're going to be doing some quick target practice here at about 24, 25 yards. Uh, we'll stretch it out hopefully a little bit farther, 50 or so yards uh, on a nicer day. It's a little overcast today, but I wanted to get some chronograph numbers. I've been trying to get out here and get some of this done. Uh, we're going to take the magazine holds 18 rounds. We're going to be shooting the JSB 35s at uh, 81 grain here. Basic JSB pellets out of it. Nothing fancy, nothing special. Regular JSBs. Uh, having it be in 18 shots we're gonna put 12 over the chronograph get you some numbers and I'm gonna take uh, two shots at a couple of little dot targets here that'll leave me two shots for each one I got three of them out there we are gonna be starting this test right around a 4,000 PSI fill it looks like the low reg is set at about a hundred 160 on the low pressure reg just to give you guys some ideas of where we're starting at. I know it's backwards, I'm by myself like normal. Uh, we're gonna get some numbers over it, over the chronograph, see what kind of numbers it's shooting right out of the box. If we need to make any adjustments for shooting longer or farther, we'll figure it out as we go here. But for right now, I wanna get you some chronograph numbers out of the box, see how it goes with JSB 81 grains. Let me set up the chronograph here and uh, get you some numbers on the Scout 357 Epic. All right, folks, we're set up here now. We're gonna take a few shots over the chronograph with the 357 Scout Epic at factory settings. See if I can find my target. We got 831. Eight Eight twenty four. Duplicate eight twenty four. Eight twenty nine. Eight thirty. Eight twenty nine. I'm not sure how many shots I took. Let's see if we have enough here. We got enough for two more on the little dots. Let me uh, flip you around. You can see the one hole that I got going and I'll zoom in on the little dots we're going to take the next couple of shots at. There we go with the 12 in the one ragged hole and now I'm going to soup. I moved you guys a little bit. Now uh, yeah, you keep moving on me here. 
Now we're gonna see what we can do on them three little dots. Again, this is about 24, 25 yards. Oh, a little low. Take one more. We're starting on the left. There we go. Then we can duplicate that in the middle now. I might not have wound it enough. No, that was a problem. Definitely need to take the mag and wind it a hair more. I only went one turn on the mag. So, uh, shake these couple out here, reset it. Dropping stuff left and right over here, guys. The beautifulness of by yourself. <sighs> My mistake. Relatively new to the gun. Not a lot of time in on this guy. Love to get a lot more time out here than I have been. But uh, let's see if we can take two more shots here on the uh, little red dots. We're going to start in the middle again. There's one. There's two. Let's go to the far target. Oh, no, I still didn't spring it enough. Word to the wise, definitely wind it up. Try that one more time, guys. Oh, that one went high. There we go. All right, that's our testing with some of the Scout 357 Epic. Crunch some numbers for you. We'll get everything together. The last chronograph number I got here was 832 over it. We'll see where we ended up. We went down about a thousand PSI on the tank. So we went from about four to three thousand PSI, 18 shots. These are gonna be available on the new website, 413airguns.com. Hopefully we'll have that up in, oh, we're hoping by this weekend. Thank you, have a great day.